This video will cover EndNote 20 Site While You Write feature in Microsoft Word. Please note that EndNote 20's Site While You Write feature only works with Microsoft Word and no other word processor. To start things off, make sure you have the EndNote 20 tab visible at the top of your Microsoft Word window. If you are not able to see this, please refer to the EndNote 20 FAQ in the link provided in the description. Now, once you click there, it will start you off in the annotated style, but you can change that later on and the change will stick. From here, you can work on your document as you would if you were as if you were typing a paper or while you're working on your paper. Please make sure you have some references already in your EndNote library so that you can add them to the document as you work on it. If you need help with adding references to EndNote, refer to any of our EndNote 24 vin Windows videos covering various databases. In this example, I entered a line of text that requires an in-text citation. After you've written your sentence, please make sure to place your cursor where you would like the in-text citation to be placed. And at the top left of the EndNote 20 tab in Microsoft Word, you'll see insert citation. So you can click on the icon and you'll be prompted with a new window asking you to search for either an author, title, or whatever keyword related to your article. In my example, I will go with the author's last name, Adamly. And I can click on the reference and look at all the relevant information to see if it is indeed the article that I plan on citing. In this case, it is. So after clicking on the article, I will click Insert. And when I press Insert, it places the reference where my, per where my cursor was last placed. Note that the reference is in annotated format. And to change this, I can go to the top of the Microsoft Word window in the EndNote 20 tab where it says Style Annotated. Click on that and change that to whatever citation style I would prefer, in this case, APA 7th. And it will automatically update the citation style to that. So now I have the in-text citation and the matching bibliography placed at the end of the document. It is good practice to put some space between your body of text and the bibliography so you do not accidentally continue the paper after the bibliography as you can actually enter more text. So to prevent that error, just place a little bit of space between the body of text and your bibliography just to prevent that issue from occurring. Now, when I placed the in-text citation, it came out in parathetical format in APA 7, but I've already mentioned the author's last name. So having the author's last name featured in the in-text citation again is redundant. I can change that by right-clicking on the reference in text citation or two finger tapping if you're using a trackpad, scrolling down to edit citation and I can click exclude author, exclude year or any subset of these depending on what information I've already provided in the body of text. So in this case, I'll exclude the author. I will have to rearrange this citation to place it more appropriately after the atom There is also a second option for placing a citation into Microsoft Word from EndNote. To do that, you have to have EndNote, the EndNote window open. Make sure the cursor was placed where you wanted your in-text citation to be placed and 
select the references that you would like to add to your paper. So I'm going to go with BINFET. And if I want to add multiple citations, I can by holding control and clicking on any additional references. So now that I have selected these three, at the top right in the EndNote window, click on the quotation mark, and it will place the citations where the cursor was. So there are the three citations I mentioned earlier and the matching bibliography. As you can see, the bibliography automatically updated, retaining alphabetical, alphabetical order, as is the Norman APA 7. Now, currently, the bibliography is not 100% correct for APA 7, and this may be the case for other citation styles. To correct that, I would go to the center column in the EndNote 20 tab. Microsoft Word. Under bibliography, there is a small arrow towards the bottom right of that little box where it says configure, configure bibliography. Click on that button. A new window will pop up and you want to go to layout where you can change how their bibliography will be formatted. So I can change the font style, size, and the line spacing. In this case, I have to change it to double space since that is the norm for APA 7th. And I'm also gonna change the size to 12. I can click okay. And now my bibliography has updated. To change the font of the bibliography, you would have to go this route. And this would be different from changing the font in your main body of text.